Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. As most of you know, slime has been a viral trend for a few years now. People of all ages love slime, including me. Slime is one of those things you get satisfied by because it is so calming and relaxing to play with, and just fun to play with overall. Well, as you may already know, I have a condition called Asperger's Syndrome. Asperger's is the same thing as high-functioning autism, and it's also a sensory processing disorder. Well, in this video, I will be telling you the reasons why I think slime is a good sensory tool for people with autism and other sensory processing disorders. Honestly, slime being a viral trend isn't the reason why I developed an interest for it. I love slime because I've played with it in the past and it has really helped me with my Asperger's. Well, let's get into the video. Here are all of my slimes. I've got clear slime that absolutely refuses to clear up. I've got green fluffy slime. I've got red butter slime, although it looks pink. And I've got purple cloud slime. Let's start with the number one reason why I recommend slime for autism. It's because it's very squishy. People with autism love feeling squishy things, and slime is a good example of a squishy object. I love how sometimes when you squish it, it has bubble pops. Fluffy slime has the best bubble pops because it is very airy. So if you love to pop bubbles, I highly recommend fluffy slime. Another reason why slime is good for autism is because it's very flexible. You can stretch it. All slime is stretchy as long as you don't add too much activator, but I think butter slime is the stretchiest. Butter slime has more of a clay texture, so if you love to play with clay or mold things, I highly recommend butter slime. That's actually another reason why I recommend slime for autism, because butter slime in particular is very moldable. That's because it has clay in it, and clay is very moldable. You can mold whatever you want with butter slime and just use your imagination. Look, I molded a hat. Cloud slime is very moldable too because the instant snow holds the slime all together. You can't stretch it normally though. It has a stringy texture when you stretch it. Another reason why slime is good for autism is when you poke it, it makes these really satisfying clicky sounds. Speaking of satisfying, another reason why slime is good for autism is because it makes great ASMR. And ASMR is good for people with autism because ASMR is very satisfying and relaxing. And anything satisfying and relaxing is good for autism. There are actually a ton of slime ASMR videos, which are also good for autism. One example of slime ASMR is mixing stuff like glitter pigment into clear slime. I've got my clear slime right here and pink and purple glitter. And I'm going to show you an example of slime ASMR using the clear slime and the pink and purple glitter. See how satisfying that was? I know it wasn't as satisfying as if you were to use crystal clear slime, but it was still satisfying. This is honestly my favorite slime ASMR, the glitter and pigment mixing. Another example of slime ASMR is the cloud slime drizzle. Cloud slime is actually my least favorite type of slime because it is very wet to the touch. It can leave a wet residue and 
It's in general the messiest type of slime. I do love the drizzle though. The other types of slime aren't as messy. Speaking of that, be very careful when playing with slime. Do not let it get on the floor, in the carpet, or wherever you don't want the slime to go. Keep an eye on the slime when playing with it to make sure that you don't get it on anything. My favorite slime is definitely fluffy slime. And lastly, Slime is good for autism because it is often used as the inside of a stress ball or squishy ball. People with autism love stress balls. Stress balls are also good for autism. Comment down below if you want me to do a review of stress balls for autism. Overall, I give slime a thumbs up for people with autism. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have autism or another sensory processing disorder, I highly recommend you make some slime. You can buy slime from the store, but I highly recommend you buy the ingredients and make it because homemade slime is way better than store-bought slime for so many reasons. There are so many recipes and tutorials on YouTube of how to make slime. They have recipes for every type of slime, including clear slime, glitter slime, fluffy slime, butter slime, and even cloud slime. If you're looking for slime tutorials, some YouTubers I recommend are Karina Garcia, Crafty Girls, Talisa Tussle, and Jillian Bauer Slime. All four of those YouTubers have great slime tutorials that'll teach you how to make great slime. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I post new videos every Friday. You may also follow me on Twitter at Alexa underscore Gerard 98 and on Instagram at Alexa underscore Gerard. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.